Hey guys, this is Crypto Marie. She does it all, a little bit of everything. I am going to give you the latest on how the crypto market is doing. Uh, remember, whatever I said, I'm not telling you to buy or sell. Always do your own research, your own due diligence before you purchase any coin. So, so far, uh, from this morning, everything was down red. For some reason, once the afternoon hit, the evening to say around five something, everything kind of spike up. I'm like, oh, okay. Maybe Terra Luna Classic feeling that a 1.2 cell stock that's going to be implemented tomorrow on the 20th. Yay! It's time for us to make some money, yeah. So I, I can't wait. Not financial advice. Always do your own research, your own due diligence before you purchase any coin. That will always be one of my favorite phrases because I don't want nobody to blame any gain or loss on me. I want us to all win at the end of the day. But again, you have to know for sure. That the crypto market is high volatile it goes up it goes down it fluctuate you can't control it i love it it keeps me on my toe so you know it's different for everybody some people can handle stress loss some people can't trust me i've been there i know how to handle a certain stress so okay let's go see how the big guys are doing when i say big guys i mean bitcoin ethereum binance you name it so right now Bitcoin at $19,714 and 0.22% up. Ethereum is $1,345 and it's 3% up. And ADA Cardano, $0.45 cents and it's 0.51% up. We have BNB, Binance, $273.1.33% up. Again, this is just the big guys. Let's go for top 10 gainers for the day. If you have crypto.com, top 10 gainers for the day. Once you see the four big guys, you go slice down a little bit more, you see the top 10 gainers. That can change at any moment. So the first one is RA or I is 26% up. ApeCoin. ApeCoin is 17% up. Yeah, I'm like, excuse me, ApeCoin is doing its thing, you know. I think ApeCoin going to make it. It's gonna make it. Not financial advice. Um, HNT 15% up. Terra Luna Classic finally say, Hey, it's time for me to get up. I know what I can do. Yeah, I know what I can do. Don't panic, sell. I am back. Yeah, I am back. So, Terra Luna Classic is 12% up. INJ is 8% up. GCHZ 8% up. Algo ALGO 7% up. ICP 6% up. When it comes to our favorite sheep, is two percent up elon six percent up tonic 0.39 percent down i'm sure it's gonna change soon to be in the green area and again terra luna classic is 12 percent up h bar two percent up luna 2.0 six percent up i know most of us don't really care for it but you gotta look at it this way if you any to make money no hard feeling no you, you're not mailed to any coin you know you gotta look at it this way whenever terra luna classic is doing well Luna 2.0 also is doing amazing. They're in the same family. I know they have two different separate uh, blockchain, but it doesn't matter. Luna 2.0, Terra Luna Classic, somehow they are they are brothers or sisters, whatever. <laughs> whatever it is, guys. But they are related somehow. It's the same guy with the same brain, the same background that created both, even though DuCoin gave up on Terra Luna Classic. Do y'all know in real life he actually named his daughter Luna? This is a project that was that was meaningful to him, that meant a lot to him. I know for some reason something happened. We still don't know what happened. And he let us all down as the investors. But at the same time, you have to understand the guy actually believed in the project. He actually put all he had in it. We we don't know what's going on, how it end up, where it end up. But, you know, it is what it is. So since I don't have much time right now, I'm going to put both murray's latest crypto news and latest crypto news both together because i am running out of time as always guys you know right now i have to focus on doing making the hours because this is how we're gonna make it we work hard to invest we work hard to do what we have to do so one day we could just sit down and say i remember those days you know where you have to be in a hurry to get ready iron your clothes get in the shower get in the car and go to work and i promise you there will be a day you will be just saying Ah, it feels good to be home. It feels good not to think about going to work. Anyhow, let's see what we have in the latest crypto news with Marie. Sheep and other crypto payments preferred by majority of big commerce customers. 
but maybe I'm just telling you the title. If you want to know more about it, you go get the information, go to Yahoo News or Google. You get more information based on what's going on. Um, no crucial reason for Bitcoin purchasing name by legendary rich dad, poor dad, Arthur. Excuse me, guys. Um... I'm hoping everyone is doing amazing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing, liking, leave a comment. I might not be able to go, you know, could we respond to your comment right away? Because sometimes I'm at work, sleeping, you know, taking a nap or at the park, working out, whatever I'm doing. But don't don't worry. I will get back to you eventually, okay? By, the, by deep sentiments rising on falling crypto market ahead of the Fed rate decision. Remember, tomorrow is a big day. The one point two sell stocks to be implemented for Terra Luna Classic is around the corner. It's tomorrow. Woo! It is tomorrow. Yeah, let's see what happens. But you know what? I'm not going to get too excited because I remember when the merge was about to come for uh, Ethereum where people had a lot of expectation and it did not happen how people thought it would have been. So let's just watch and see to see if it will make a big difference in the price, if it will spike up, if it will go down. It doesn't matter. Let's just watch and see, guys, what that will be, whether it's a positive or a negative change and how the burning go, we, we'll see. But we cannot be too excited because I learned from Ethereum Merge, it did not make a big difference at all. E eventually, once it's, it's sunk in, things start going in, if it works for it, you will know. But the expectation was high, okay? I have read a lot of stuff. I have heard a lot of stuff. I have watched a lot of stuff, what they're saying, all kind of thing, and none of that happened, okay? So here's when Bitcoin may plunge to 13500 according to head of markets at IG Europe. I don't know why people want Bitcoin to plunge down. They want to prove a point or something. Bitcoin is more centralized than Ethereum, implies even Van Ness. SEC suing crypto influencer for promoting shitty product projects. Oh, yeah? Well, that's not good. We always say all the YouTubers, not financial advice. Do your research, so don't blame it on us. If you go put your last dime in there and lose it all, you got to have the heart for this. To me, in my opinion, high, risk, high, high reward. I never tell you to spend all your money. I've always said only spend money you could afford to lose. I never liked the phrase, but when I had to do it myself and actually lost some money, I realized, oh, that's what they meant. But if you need the money to pay for your rent, to eat, to feed your kids, feed the pet, do not put it in there. It's important. You need it. And if everything is taken care of, something left, you know, you don't have much to worry about. The bills are taken care of, the car payment, the insurance, everything is good. So whatever left, you said, okay, I can afford to make a move on the market because if you lose it, it's not going to hurt you. You know, it's not going to hurt you if you lose it. But if you need it, come on, just do what you got to do. Not financial advice. Don't put your last dime in there. It's high risk. High risk, high reward for me. But it's high risk. I make sure all my bills are taken care of before I put anything in the market. I can afford to lose it. If I lose it right now, I still can eat. I still can feed my kids. My car will be paid for. That's why I put what I put in there. Don't follow me. You know, don't do what I do with all the respect. I'm not a financial advisor. I have no right to give you advice. You might agree to what I said. You, it might sound closer to your opinion. And then you you do your research and you make a move. But that don't mean you have to do what I do. I make move. I make crazy moves sometimes. I saw 5 million Terra Luna Classic for 1300 I regret it later on because I, I found out I could have sold that $5 million for 2300 I lost a whole $1,000. But again... You know, I put it in coin that one day that might double, you know, double, quadruple, triple the results. So I'm okay with that loss. I'm okay with it. It's okay for us to make mistakes. It's okay for us to make a wrong move and say you make a wrong move. You know, when I sold, I, I didn't want to lose all my profit. I said, damn, I spent six grand. Now it's 10,000. Let me get something out. I get something else and, and then it plunged down to, you know, yeah, yeah. So high it went down and then. I don't regret taking the 13. I wish I had took it 
um, like three days later, it would have been $1,000 extra, but I cannot change the past. Right now, I'm, a, I'm at a win because I get some profit when things was doing okay. So when the wells dump it on us, it was like, it's okay. I spent $6,000. I already get half of my initial investment. I still have $15 million left. When it spike up again, I try to get something else. Now, whatever left will be playing with the house money. That's how you get profit, okay? Not financial advice. Um, yeah. I want to say thank you to all the kind comments you guys left. Um, after you watch the videos, you know, nobody's perfect. You know, I do my best to report the uh, most important to you guys. And um, it is what it is. One day at a time, you know. Bitcoin, Ethereum crash continues as U.S. 10-year treasury yield surpass June high. First mover Asia crypto slide and weekend trading. Did Ethereum pick the wrong time to merge? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that was the right time because we're in the bear market. So it did not help Ethereum merging, thinking it's going to skyrocket the price and everything else or all the coins that built in the blockchain. It did not help. It was 1,300 and something. And before the merge, it was 1,700 and something, 800 and something. So it did not help with the price, guys. It did not help. Biggest Fed rate hike in 40 years. Five things to know in Bitcoin this week. Uh, remember, this is just a title. You want to know more, you take the information and you get you, you just do what you got to do to get more information about cryptocurrencies to watch for the week of September 18th. Um, my voice changed a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to get a call or something. I hope everything is okay. Ah. <sighs> Yeah. Let's see. I hope everything's doing amazing. Everybody's doing amazing. Uh, THNDR launches play to earn Bitcoin solid solitaire game. I'm gonna try to do a research on all the cryptos that has game, because any of them that has game is doomed to succeed have a great success because people love game so i need to find that information shiba eternity launch in a australia xrp suddenly jumps eight percent president who lost 56 million in bitcoin six re-election crypto news digest by you today yeah i'm gonna try to find out which one because Gala, I know Gala is one of them, and Gala is going to do amazing financial advice. Cryptocurrency prices and news, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dive, as you saw ahead of the Fed, Fed rate hike, investors business daily. Um, it's a big day tomorrow. Let's just wait and see. We're not going to be over-exaggerated, over-excited because we don't want to let down. Remember those wells are out there to crush us, the retailers. They don't care for us. They're going to buy, spike it up, and then they're going to crush it down. So your business, not financial advice, get some profit. When you, when you, when you see your money is growing, get some profit and wait to see what happens because these people do not care. They will crush it down, okay? Look what they did to Shiba, you know. Last week, I read somebody purchased $33 trillion, I think, or, or $1 trillion. Forgive me. I had it on video. I don't remember the exact number of Shiba. I think $33 trillion of Shiba Inu. You know, and I was like, damn, that's a lot for $22 million. And two days ago, they dumped $1 trillion on us. When you do that, you, you're messing with the price. You're messing with the progress of us going up. You know, it's just not right, but you can't control what they do. They have the money. They don't care for us, the retailers. So we have to take action to our own hands and do what we have to do to survive this mess. Indian Exchange, W-A-Z-I-R-X, follows Binance and delisting USD, USDC. And I think I'm going to stop it from here. Anything else later on on my break? I will bring it to you if it's excited, if it's great, because I know y'all like excited news. Whenever I bring something, the view is skyrocketing. It's like, oh, yeah, this is exciting. Everybody's watching. But if it's so, so not interesting, let me tell you, those uh, YouTubers, um, those um, viewers from YouTube, 
they have an opinion of their own mind. <laughs> if it's simple, not excited, they're like, ah, you keep this for you. But if it's good, excited, money, whew, they're all over the place. I tell you, I love you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing, for leaving comment. God is great. And again, this is it for today. May God bless you all. I'm going to get ready to go to work. And um, thank you so much. Crypto Marie, she does it all, a little bit of everything. The market is looking great so far, probably around 8 p.m., 9 p.m. If things looking great, when I take my break at 11, 20-ish, I might give you a latest update. If not, y'all know how it is. Tomorrow is a big day for the 1.2 sales tax to be implemented. And um, good luck to all you guys. Thank you. Have a great one. Bye.